as an integrated part of the system. You know, it was that part. It's like the human maintaining the system is what makes the system function because it's designed for the human to become a part of the conscious development of the centropy, of the, the cooperation and synergy that's happening between all the plants. The centropy between the plants cannot continually occur without the human weeding and pruning and cycling nutrients and selectively collecting plants and replanting them all next to each other. And so the centropy is not for the plants, it's for the plants plus human as an integrated system. Excellent. I wonder if the uh, the the appropriate um, the appropriate solution would be a bamboo pole, maybe to carry the the buckets better. <laughs> well, but have yeah. we thought about growing bamboo, or what is the thought process behind selecting plants for the the consortium for the collection? The the well, the way that it works is that there are different stages of ecosystem development, and each stage of ecosystem development, different plants serve particular functions like the ones that fix nitrogen in the soil or the ones that hold water. They have different functions. And instead of having the ones that hold the same function planted next to each other where they compete, you selectively uh, create a composition where all of the plants' functions are in harmony with each other. And that's the design of the Centropic Agroforestry System. So you're designing for, like here, this one holds water, this one needs water, but this one might create shade for that one while it's growing, but that one might fix nitrogen. So the idea is they're all next to each other, but they all serve different functions. And so the idea is the human intelligence is knowing these relationships and then relating them to as an integrated whole. So you're like, I want to plant this guy next to this guy because this guy's gonna need water from this guy. And this guy's gonna need protection from the wind and the sun from this guy. And because they're next to each other, they have mutual benefit and function. And the human is the one who knows that. So what we're doing is taking what forests naturally do and optimizing the design of cooperation. 